sing a super old song. It's called Prince and Princesses.
next song together, I Love Jesus. together Trinity.
the Father up above. God the Father up above. He made me in His love. He created me to be unique. I can see God the Son. He is the Christ. He came to save my life. Jesus shed His worship. Let's have a quick prayer before we begin. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we have our worship today, may you truly open up our spiritual eyes and our ears so that we may hear your word. May we truly restore that summit time, attitude, and vessel. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Remnants, can you take out your prayer book and your Apostles' Creed, please? Okay. Are you guys ready now? Okay. Then we'll read it together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen and the forgiveness of sins, which is very important. Yeah. And the forgiveness, I have to ask for the forgiveness of sins. Okay, now T.J. Jin will give us the message for today. You all, child of God, three, two, one. Without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, may I pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness, and fight the good fight of faith. And confess that God, you are the blessed and only ruler, King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light, whom no one has seen or can see, and to you be the honor and eternal dominion. Amen. Prayer for evangelism missions, 3 one. May I not bow to the threats of the world, but grant me to speak your word with great boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders in the name of your holy servant Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, inhale. Hold it. Even now the trying God is at work, always and forever. Even now God is working by his spirit in the word. 
father. Even now, the Christ is getting rid of the three curses. He's asked to tell Satan as the PPK and accomplishes his salvation. Son, and even now, unseen to your eyes, the Holy Spirit is working upon us. Deeply enjoy this. Exhale. Inhale. Hold what is arising right now. Our background is heaven. The time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth. To bring God's kingdom means while we're praying, invisible to your eyeballs, God mobilizes angels for us. Exhale. Inhale with your nose. Hold it. You have an amazing authority, which means power from above. You begin to break down the back of hell, bind Satan, all the stinky forces of darkness. Exhale. Oh, I hear somebody. Inhale. Hold. The five great strengths will be made for you. Spiritual power, intellectual power, physical power, financial power, man, social communication power. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. There is something more important than all of these. Not only your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become summit. Do well in your studies. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Heaven. This is our background by the mystery of the triune God. Enjoy God's kingdom here on earth. Then we'll go to heaven. Just wait for God's kingdom. It will surely come. Everywhere you go, God's kingdom will come. As Joseph waited, God's kingdom came. He went as a slave to prison. Still able to wait. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Hell, we don't die and go to hell, but people are living a hellish life on earth, having the background of hell, and they go to hell when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torments their life, but the end drags people to hell. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Angels with the background of heaven. Angels are ministering God's work. When we, they usher us to heaven. Wherever we go, God mobilizes his angels. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Spiritual state. What's more important than answers is my spiritual state. This is where everything begins to be solved. Help me to have a healthy spiritual state that rides the flow of the covenant and is filled with the Holy Spirit always. Help me to listen to the voice of God, not the words of people. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Church. It's the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path to which we get there. Exhale. Whoa, church has two CHs in it. Did you notice that? Yeah. Oh, inhale. Hold. People that Ramus must meet. Leaders with the gospel, successful people with the gospel, fellow workers with the gospel. Meat, animal meat. Today's prayer is Exhale. Today's prayer journal was animal meat. Never mind. Dear God, may you bless the pastors to be only the gospel, evangelism, and prayer. Bless the church officers to save the remnants, church, field, regions, occupations. Bless the young adults to be prepared as the church officers, be in the hands and feet of the pastors and the platform for the remnants. Bless us to have inference roots, nature of the word, prayer, evangelism, missions, academics. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen. And the journey, pray for our pastor to be, will be, word, prayer, evangelism, hands and feet. Stake our elders. Stake the rest of their lives. Deaconesses or senior deaconesses. Seniors, the mommies of the church. Deacons. Hope everything runs smoothly. All right, we do our work before God because we don't even know pat, pat, pat on the pat, pat, pat. Our job well done. Unbelievable. And save the field because there's so many people to be saved. Young adults. Freedom Church. Gospel elites. Yeah. 
Remnant, covenant, division, dream, image, practice. Divide a pi. C stands for what? Covenant, God's promise and God's sovereignty. He's in control. Everything's in his hands. See it ahead of time, just like Daniel. V stands for what? Vision, which is all about God's plan. What is God's plan? W-E, world evangelization. Woo-hoo, my, 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 my. Make it mine ahead of time. D stands for what? Dream, which it, we, we dream holding on to. That's covenant. Woo-hoo, enjoy it ahead of time. I stands for what? No pupils. I stands for what? Image. Whose image are we created in? God's image. We enjoy God being with us on our covenant journey, just like the triangle man. <laughs> Conquer, victory, in advance. P stands for what? Practice. We put into practice God's goal. Why? Because he already fulfilled everything. Fulfilled in advance. Today's message, absolute wisdom. It's very wise. Absolute wisdom. Can I move on? A B S O L U T E. Absolute wisdom. Yeah, that's what I said. A B S O L U T E. Nope. Hey, Daniel. Daniel, huh? Today is the 24th. I don't know. Can I move on? No. Everybody write it down. Did you write it down? Yeah. yeah. All right. Today's Bible verse, Daniel, chapter 6, verse 10. Sounds familiar. Last one there is a rotten egg. That's right. You're not a rotten egg. Done. Thanks to my lovely bookmark. Oh, yeah. I like it. This hair is so annoying. Do you want to give me a haircut? Yeah! Okay. Daniel chapter 6, verse 10. Let's go, Eddie. Let's go. Come on. All right. Ready? Okay, good. Chapter 6, verse 10. If you didn't find it, just listen. If you did find it, read along. Three, two, one. Now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God just as he had done before during his summit time. May the Lord bless y'all and keep y'all. May the Lord make his face shine upon y'all and be gracious to y'all. May the Lord take, turn his face towards y'all and give y'all peace. Today's the lesson objective. Gain God's absolute wisdom during my summit time. He's so excited. Gain God's or get get God's wisdom during my summit time. Belshazzar writing on the wall. Mene, mene. Can I move on? Okay. Well, what is wisdom? Not absolute wisdom. Yeah, mene, mene, tekel, farkum. What is wisdom? Well, you know how people say, with age comes wisdom? Like, the older you get, the more wise you get. So I guess that's wisdom. Just like this old guy, that old guy, that old guy. Wait, that's old yoga. Yeah. So like maybe they say with age comes wisdom because the older you get, the more you experience life. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's wisdom. So when our elder tells you something and gives us advice, we should accept it, right? Because they know more. 
So I guess that's wisdom. What else do you think wisdom is? Like someone who's smart? I guess that's wisdom. Like they study well. Or we call them uh, maybe smarty pants. Right? Because people know wisdom. I have wisdom. We know so much about whatever topic. Right? I mean, look what's inside of his head. So many different topics, subjects, how to do things, right? So is wisdom like, maybe, like when you're smart or when you have knowledge? Maybe. I guess that's wisdom. What happens if you don't have wisdom? Uh, you're not dumb. You just have to study extra hard, like this boy. He's gaining wisdom. He's getting wisdom. Is that how we should study? No, don't study like that. You should read it. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's wisdom. Wisdom could also be experience, what you experience in your life, right? So. Let's say, uh, I don't know, Lydia joined gymnastics. And then there's a different, there's a teacher who, had, who did gymnastics for 10 years, but you only did it for one week. Who has more experience? A teacher. A teacher, right? So I guess that's experience. But I think it's the, um, the, um, the, 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 the like there's a professional versus an amateur, right? An amateur is someone who doesn't have that much experience. Like, I don't know, a professional sumo wrestler. A professional super wrestler who wrestled for years and years versus a little child. Who do you think is going to win? The little child. The little child. The little what? Child. Oh, like David and Goliath? No. Most likely, this would happen. <laughs> right? Get out of here. Professional versus amateur. I guess that's experience. And size. What else is wisdom? Like figure, figuring things out, like you're good at figuring things out. Like there might be somebody who can learn faster than other students, I don't know. I guess that's wisdom, figuring things out, knowing the way things work, right? Knowing how things work, I guess that's wisdom, right? What else is wisdom? Maybe someone who's good with people, right? You know how to talk with this kind of person and how to talk with this kind of person. Know different types of people. You're good with people. I guess that's wisdom. What else is wisdom? Maybe like your creativity, someone who's very creative, like artists or po po poets, right? Musicians. I guess that's wisdom, but that's not the wisdom we're talking about. What is absolute wisdom? The absolute wisdom that Daniel had. It's the wisdom from God, right? Because in Christ are hidden all, hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Everything's hidden inside of Christ in God's word. What is absolute wisdom? Knowing the fundamental problem of mankind. When did all problems in the world begin? The incident of Adam and Eve, right? Separation from God, sin and curse, Satan. What's absolute wisdom? Knowing that everybody, without exception, everybody is born with what? Original sin, right? What is, and then the 12 problems. I guess that's absolute wisdom. Daniel knew about it. What's the first of the 12 problems? Oh, Genesis chapter 3. What is Genesis chapter 3 all about? Oh, self-centeredness. It's all about me, 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 me. I'm God. Ooh. If I'm happy, that's, that's it. I don't care. My happiness. Me. No. What's next? Oh, Genesis chapter 6. What's Genesis chapter 6 all about? Uh, material. Uh, material things or like, uh, yeah, fake, false happiness. Yeah. Uh, the ways of the world. <laughs> oh, what's Genesis, chap Genesis chapter 11? Oh, success-centeredness. Chasing after success. 
do whatever it takes to be successful. How about uh, 13? Um, sorcery. sorcery, that's right. <laughs> Someone's a really big Harry Potter fan here. But that's sorcery. What else? What's Genesis chapter 6? No, Acts chapter 16. Remember the fortune teller girl? Yeah. yeah. Like you listen to the words of people. Do this, do that, do this, do that. But people listen, people listen to other people for advice. What about Acts chapter 19? Idol worship, right? Worshiping idols, worshiping people. Worshiping. All right, what else? Oh, absolute wisdom is knowing that everybody's trapped inside of the six states of non-believers. And the absolute wisdom is knowing the answer. And what's the answer? Or who is the answer? Got that right. Christ. Christ is the answer. What else is absolute wisdom? Knowing about God's throne, right? The things of heaven, definitely. So what's absolute wisdom? Worship during our summit time. Daniel knew this. So even if you're really small and young, can you be spiritually mature and spiritually wise? Yeah, definitely. So you could be really small, young. I don't know what happened in that picture. But even though he's small and tiny, a remnant could be spiritually wise, a spiritual adult, just like Daniel, uh, David, right? They're spiritually mature. Wait, what happened? Oh, no. Because where does wisdom come from? From God's word, right? So hold on to God's word, just like Daniel. Speaking of Daniel, let's talk about Daniel's absolute wisdom. Okay, so we reviewed this on Sunday, right? It was King Nebuchadnezzar, and he invaded Israel, or Judah, Oh, the temple was destroyed. Did Daniel know why? Yeah. yeah, Daniel knew why. Oh, the Israelites, God's people were taken captive. Did Daniel know why? Yes. Yeah, he knew why. Oh, God's people, no. Oh, they were taken captive. They were, oh, there was an invasion, ah, attack. And they even stole all the things in the temple. Did Daniel know why? Yeah. yeah. The temple was set on fire. Ah, did Daniel know why? Yeah. Did Daniel know why? Yeah. Did Daniel know why? Yeah. Did Daniel, oh wait, there's Daniel. So Daniel, he knew why, right? He knew. Oh, Daniel, Daniel knew why. Oh, Daniel. Daniel and his three friends, actually. Oh, hey, Sang. Ooh, Hapung. So sleepy. Oh, Hapung's in serious. Oh, no, he's smiling. All right. Because what was the reason why? Ugh, idol worship. God's people kept worshiping idols. God said, oh, you love the Lord your God only. Don't serve idols, but they kept serving idols, which means they changed the master of their heart. Who's supposed to be sitting in the chair? God. But what did they do with God? They kicked God out, and they put 3611 instead, right? Uh, of course they're going to be taking us captives. Because the master changed. Who's supposed to be the master? God, right? So Daniel and his three friends, remember they recruited all the young men and said, you're, you're going to worship the Babylonian God and we're going to change all your names and you're going to eat the food that's on the king's table, right? But did they fall for that trick? No, no, no. Because they knew that's the reason why. They were taking us captive. So they're like, uh-uh, I'm not eating that. Nope. Yeah, why is your neck so long? <laughs> Guess who? So Daniel said, don't just feed us vegetables, right? Because he had wisdom, absolute wisdom, that mm, I'm not doing idol worship. And what happened after 10 days? Powerful, stronger, because they, get, they received God's absolute wisdom and strength. So strong, so mighty. Nice hair. Okay, so you, you don't have to write this down. You already wrote it down. So Daniel had the absolute wisdom to even interpret King Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Remember King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream? He, was, he dreamt of 
the statue, gold, silver, uh, uh, bronze, iron, and then clay. No. He didn't know what it meant. So he called all the sorcerers, magicians, the wise men. Um, and then the wise men are like, please, king, let us know the dream. Tell us your dream and we'll, t we'll try to tell you what it means. But what did King Nebuchadnezzar say? No, 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 no. You tell me the dream. <gasps> That's impossible, right? If not, you're dead. Dun, dun, dun. You're dead. And the, all the wise men are like, bruh. <laughs> and then that's what King Nebuchadnezzar did. He's like, all right, everybody die. So they went to go pick up Daniel and his three friends. <laughs> Come on, it's time to die. And Daniel's like, whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait, wait. Because he was shocked. <laughs> and then Daniel's like, okay, uh, let me go to the king and ask for some more time. And then God moved King Nebuchadnezzar's heart, and the king's like, all right, you have some time. So what did, what did Daniel and his three friends do? They had summit time, and they prayed for God's absolute oh, wisdom. Right. That's right. And then God gave them the wisdom. Why are you opening your eyes and praying? All right, so Daniel, <laughs> receiving the absolute wisdom, he went before the king and said, this is your dream, and this is what it means. God's kingdom will last forever. And the king was shocked. So he tells about the dream, the meaning of the dream. And what did the king do? He bowed down, uh, worshiped the remnants. And they, they made him really high in position. Why? Thanks to God's absolute wisdom, right? Oh, same point. Remember the story of King Belshazzar? Yeah. So King Belshazzar, he had a feast, party time. Woo oh, Grandma. Abuelita. All right. And then they had a party. And uh-oh, they even got the golden goblets from the temple. Oh, no. And then all of a sudden, there was a giant hand, and it wrote on the wall. Oh, yeah. And then the king was so surprised that he fainted, right? Many, many tekel from. And the king's like, tell me what it means. What does it mean? Somebody. And then the queen came along, and the queen's like, hmm, remember Daniel? He used to serve under your daddy, King Nebuchadnezzar. And then King Belshazzar is like, bring him over. Now, Daniel was a little older, so he went before King Belshazzar and then reminded him about what happened to King Nebuchadnezzar because King Nebuchadnezzar was self-centered, so he went cuckoo. And then he repented, and then God forgave him. So Daniel was telling him, hey, you need to repent. Go back to God. And then told him the meaning of many, many tekel paris, right? You're doing bad. Come back to God. If not, you get punished. Belshazzar was like, oh, I don't know what it means. Daniel's like, bye-bye. And what happened? Oh, actually, and then King Belshazzar, I mean, yeah, Belshazzar made Daniel third in command, third highest, and gave him purple clothes and a gold chain. King is first, and then maybe queen, and then him. And then that very night, what happened? The Persians came and invaded, right? It's an invasion. And they sent an assassin, and they killed Belshazzar. Oh, no, Belshazzar. And then new king, King Darius, Darius. Okay, so next point. Well, how do I get this absolute wisdom? Let's take a look at what Daniel did. Well, we know about Daniel. Daniel served under how many kings? Four kings. Yeah. So he had the absolute wisdom to, to serve under four kings. There's Daniel. Old man. Okay, so Daniel, he was loved by the king. He was well respected. He did nothing wrong. So people are jealous, jealous of him. Yeah. Well, how did Daniel receive absolute wisdom? During his summit time. How many times did he have summit time? 
Not a hundred times. Yeah, three times a day. Yep. So the enemies are like, hmm, how can we get Daniel in trouble? And they found out. They're like, oh, yeah, Daniel does his, does his summit time three times a day. We'll use that against him. Okay, we found a plan. So they tricked the king. <laughs> the king is like, or the, the people are like, hmm, we should worship you, king, for the next, what, 30, 40 days? Anybody who else, anybody else who worships a different god, they should be thrown into the lion's den. And the king's like, hmm, that's a good idea. I like that idea. And then he signed it. And how did they sign it back then? Remember with the signet ring and the wax? There you go. And it became a law. Now the king can't take it back. No take, take backsies. But what did Daniel do? He still did the summit time, three times a day, as he always did since he was a little boy. Yeah. In the Bible verse, it said, as he, did, as he had always done. Right? So ever since Daniel was taken as a captive when he was a little boy, I'm sure he did summit time three times a day. So he always did. He kept it up. So it's important to continue. Keep up your summit time. Anybody could do it for one week, but can you do it for years and years and years? All right, so the, 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 I don't know. But they're like, okay, uh, Daniel, the person you admire the most, broke the law. And the king's like, no, I like Daniel. I don't know what's happening. The king's like, what have I done? No, I made a mistake. I made a boo-boo. So they brought Dan. Oh, what happened here? He's, I guess he's excited to go. All right. So they brought Daniel to the lion's den. And the king, King Nebuchadnezzar's like, may the God you always serve, three times a day, some a time, rescue you, save you, deliver you. And then Daniel's like, no problem. If I die, I die. Yeah, and there's Daniel. Oh, no. Poor Daniel. Now the king couldn't sleep at all. The king's like, oh, I can't sleep. No. So he, as soon as the, the sun came up, because the law was, if the person survives during the night and they're still alive the next day, then they rescue. They save him because they did nothing wrong. God saved him. Because that's not part of the law. All right. And then the king asked, Daniel, Daniel, you there? Has a God you always serve been able to save you? And what does he hear? I'm here, king. The Lord sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions. What do you think Daniel was doing inside the lion's den? He's probably praying. He's probably doing his summit time. And then what did the king do? Oh, all the bad men, all the bad people, and their families, and their children, they threw them into the lion's den. And before they even hit the ground, the lions jumped up. Got them. Simba. And now the king's like, I declare the, the God of Daniel is a true God. Everybody worship Daniel's God. So how was Daniel able to experience such a miraculous life? Well, he had a summit time, right? Three times a day, scheduled prayer, scheduled worship. So we should, how, do we gain, how do we gain or get God's absolute wisdom? Through our summit time, right? You're even, you're even wearing the t-shirt. That's right, summit time. Me too. Oh, never mind. I was wearing it yesterday. Summit time. All right. A little talent time. This is a person named Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison was a brilliant, wise man, smart man who invented many different inventions. That's great. And Thomas Edison, little known fact, I guess every time he made an invention, he would get down on his knees, he would pray, God, give me wisdom, give me knowledge. And then, look, God gave him the wisdom 
to invent these light bulbs, which always, which always hurts my eyes. If I'm always squinting and being angry, looking angry in this room, it's because of these lights. It's too bright. I know. Anyway, so that's what he did. To gain, got, to gain wisdom, to create all these inventions, what did Edison do? Pray. Yeah, he got down on his knees and he prayed for wisdom. Okay. Uh, we will split up and have a blessed forum time. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one. May the Lord bless y'all and keep y'all. May the Lord make his face shine upon y'all. Be gracious to y'all. May the Lord turn his face towards y'all and, and give you peace. Hold on to Jesus' life, Jesus' power, Jesus' healing. Prayer books. Why? Summit time. Why? Absolute wisdom. Why? So we could be just like Daniel. Why? To give all glory to God. Why? Because we're his children. Why? Because God's our master. Why? Because that's how we're made. Why? Because that's the purpose of our life. Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Keep up your summit time. Daniel does it three times a day. Can't we at least do five minutes? Right? And your homework, let's see who did their homework. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, blame your mom. No, blame yourself. All right, Google Class. Your homework is to make a Pix and Comic on one of the Daniel stories, right? On Sunday, we went over the Daniel stories, Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, Lion's Den. Choose one of those and make a Pixton comic. I even reviewed it today, right? Oh, David, Panshigi. Why are they bald? Why is Daniel bald? Oh, summertime, three times a day. Jealous people. Oh, lions then. All right, keep working on it. Nice, very nicely done. All right, let's see who. Uh, Emma, you only did two slides so far. At least you got started. Yeah. Okay. I think this is just the introduction. Let's see. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Sam, Sam, what's with the three three plates of spaghetti? That's it. That's it. Three plates of spaghetti, that's it? Come on. At least you got started. I know, that's it. It's okay, it's because you're not done, right? Right, right. Okay, everybody stay in your seats. Three, two, one. Find the hidden objects. Find Ryan. Find Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, Emma's mom. Okay, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. Uh, basketball. Oh, color pencil. Chrome. Oh, apple. Color pencil. Reese's. Stapler. Oh, granola bar. Oh yeah, Pe color pencil. Oh. Wait, Paintbrush. Stapler? Ah, stapler. Ryan, Ryan. Is that it? All right, I guess that's it. All right. Let us end with prayer for the 237 Nation. So today we're going to pray for Equatorial Guinea. Okay, Cape Verde. Cape Verde. When we pray for these two nations, is God going to move over or work over there right now? Yeah. yeah, because prayer transcends time and space. You all ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Equatorial Guinea and Cape Verde so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise and shine the light of the gospel here. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, let's close our eyes and, and let's pray and we'll go to form. Dear God, may you bless our precious remnants. And help us to have summit time to gain your absolute wisdom, just like Daniel did. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.